It's one of the great mysteries of the Second World War. Had the Nazis really developed a craft that was invisible to radar, able to outmaneuver enemy aircraft, and travel across the globe at hypersonic speed? It sounds like something from science fiction, but there are many who believe they did. Journalist Jamie Theakston is hoping to unravel the evidence and find out whether there really were Nazi UFOs. There was a lot of supposition towards the end of the Second World War that the Nazi Air Force, the Luftwaffe, were experimenting with fighter planes and bombers that were faster and more dangerous than the Hurricane or the Spitfire. They felt that they had got the worst of every aerial battle in which they'd been engaged with our men, and so they were looking for superior weaponry. We have to remember that at the start of World War II, aircraft design was still, relatively speaking, in its infancy. So new ideas were being tried out all the time. Hitler in particular and, and the big generals around him were very interested in wonder weapons. Um, and the more desperate they became, the more interested they were in wonder weapons. The reality is that even if the Nazis had developed a UFO, then it came too late for them to turn around their fortunes in the war. But newly released documents and deathbed confessions from scientists involved in top secret Nazi development paints a picture of a race to develop a supercraft, codenamed Die Glocke, or The Bell, which would have changed the face of history forever. In fact, the idea of the Nazis developing a flying saucer wasn't such a crazy idea at all. They had, for years, been at the cutting edge of aircraft design, with early prototypes for vertical takeoff jets and even fixed wing and stealth technology. German engineers were, and still are, among the very best in the world. If they set their hearts and minds on developing, whether it was an aircraft or a submarine, or anything new and unusual and superior to what they considered to be their opponents, then I believe it was within their capabilities that there were some very strange, very unusual, experimental Nazi aircraft in the air before the war ended. <laughs> 